Okay, what I got for you guys today is the Hemue Zebra. kind of the luxury SUV of electric commuter bikes, beach bikes, so to speak. Normally 2000, but right now 1800, and they give you the rack, $80 usually, and the fenders, $80, and a multi-tool as well. So pretty good deal. And what it really is, is a monster truck, monster truck SUV, kind of like the Cadillac Escalade. So if you're a big guy, you know, you want a lot of payload, you want to carry some stuff, and you want something sturdy, a lot, of, a lot of motor, a lot of battery, this could be it. You know, for me, not so much, right? But hey, I was testing it, I had a lot of fun with it. Payload is 400 pounds uh, for bike. Uh, bike's about 80, 80 pounds, 85 pounds with uh, this uh, accessories right here. So what's left is the rider and your cargo. So 400 pounds can carry a lot. They did that with a very heavy duty frame, double walled, I think. And the motor is 750 watts, pretty good. And then the battery is huge, 960 watt hours. So they're claiming 80 mile range if you help out. You know, 4.0 inch tires on 26 inch wheels, I think. Uh, big saddle, nice comfy bars. So, you know, if you're in like Newport Beach, Southern Cal and everyone's like on an e-bike on the beach, this could be pretty good, right? Because you can go on the sand, you can go on some trail. I took it on a lot of trail and it could be fun. And I'll walk you through a bunch of the running video that I have. I took it on a lot of trails, so I had fun with it. Pros and cons, the pros is if you're a big guy, you want a lot of power, you want a lot of range, it's pretty good. You know, the fact that it comes with a sturdy uh, rear rack is good, the kickstand is is pretty darn good uh front suspension i didn't feel it so much the the gear shifter uh, it, it went to 22 miles an hour and it had a, a throttle so it's pretty good to start up hydraulic brakes uh, oh there we go it's uh, this kind of it wasn't centered initially now now it's now it's centered now and the computer is pretty good it tells you all kinds of things even tells you the watts that the motor is putting out uh, mountain bike style bars uh, the light is huge, uh, so pretty cool on this one, and it's got a taillight as well, nice and broad, ideally placed uh, and connected to your main battery, so you never have to worry about charging them, uh, they're ready, got a little bell here. So, you know, pretty pretty basic for, you know, that, that e-adventure commuter cruiser in you. Uh, what did I like about the package? I would say the... I thought it had a mid-drive motor, but it doesn't. I'm not sure what's in there. I thought it looks like a motor. There's probably the controller in there, so it's not, it's not hanging out. The, the cadence, it's cadence censored, you know, a little bit older technology. So it took about two revolutions uh, to get, for the motor to get going. If you're pedaling this on your own, getting it started, it's a little harder, especially on a hill. So you can't wait for that motor to kick in. But they do have a throttle. I didn't like the throttle so much. I would rather have a big lever you know, that, that you can really control because you're going to be using this throttle quite a bit. And what you do is you have to kind of load and then that's just so you could be in a comfortable position uh, when you're holding that thing. Uh, what else didn't I like? I think it's heavy. For me, it's heavy. 80 pounds, maybe 90 pounds with all this gear. So it's a big beast and I, I, like, I like my e-bikes more maneuverable and stuff. But if you're not going to do what I'm going to do, you know, like trails and and uh, big adventures like that, you know, this could be for you, a perfect uh, burly cruiser for you heavy guys out there. Really nice saddle, comfortable grips. Oh, these grips were twisting on me, so you kind of have to glue them on uh, so they don't twist. But, all well, packaging, it wasn't the best packaging, so the, uh, the box had a lot of holes. Luckily, it wasn't damaged, but it could easily be damaged. Um, you know, so a little sturdier box would be cool. Uh, what else? Maybe a little heavier gearing. 
a uh, little little taller gearing so you could go uh, you, you could you could go a little faster than 22 miles an hour that seems to be the peak of it with that uh, seven speed gear set it has so there you go i'll walk you through some really exciting drone and running video i had uh, had a bunch of fun with this so thanks a ton